Over the years, I've had an opportunity to uh, do a lot of things with heroes in our country. Uh, howdy, everybody. My name is Keith Warren. I host a television program called The High Road. You know, our country is made up of people that I think are just normal people and then made up of superheroes. And superheroes are those people that step up and do things that are extraordinary. Now, the hunt's taking place in South Texas on the Thumbtack Ranch. And the Thumbtack Ranch is actually a Purple Heart Ranch. Thumbtack Ranch does all kinds of hunts for all kinds of super people. And the deer are on the move. So this all came about because there's an event at the Thumbtack Ranch called Buck for the Brave. And Buck for the Brave is something I've attended many times and it's an opportunity for people in our industry, in our hunting industry, to give back and to show gratitude for those heroes out there. And for me, I'm tied into Buck for the Brave with my relationship at Record Rack. All right, so we're in Batesville, Texas right now at an event called Buck for the Brave. This is an event that goes on every single year. And it's a special event and it's to honor heroes. Cargill wound up putting this on. We're at the Thumbtack Ranch, like I said, just outside of Batesville, Texas, and Batesville's about an hour south of San Antonio. The purpose of this is to be able to do something special for our veterans, for our heroes, those that have served our country. And so right now what's going on is the guides and the hunters are drinking their coffee, getting ready to go to the stand. My name is Tom Snyder. I'm the founder of Trinity Oaks. Well, this is our final morning of hunting here at Bucks for the Brave, and uh, it's been an amazing event. Uh, everybody's having a fantastic time, and uh, we're looking forward to getting those last trophies today. Hi, my name's Craig Speaker. I'm from Finley, Ohio, Northwest Ohio. Uh, I was a recipient of the hunt as a retired paramedic. I also have 32 years of law enforcement and five years active duty military in the United States Army as a paratrooper. I had the privilege of taking a beautiful Axis deer. Bucks for the Brave is humbling. It's, it's an amazing experience. And to meet the other recipients that are doing this, it's an amazing experience. So this event is put on free of charge to those that have been selected for the Bucks of the Brave program. Now, I do want to point out that if you have a hero in your life, somebody who's served our country, and you want to find out more about this program and how you can get your hero here possibly for the next Buck for the Brave event, all you need to do is just go to the website that you see on the screen right now and you can find out more information. So. It's absolutely free. The volunteers that are here are not getting paid. They're going to be making breakfast. We're going to go out and see if we can get some people some beer, and we're going to come back in, and we're going to have a great time. I think it's a beautiful eight point. I'm here with my guide, Jake, and we're in South Texas. This is a beautiful eight point buck I just shot. As you can see he's gorgeous. 
We're here with Bucks for the Brave, and I'm having a great time. And you did phenomenal. We were, we were sitting in the blind this morning, a lot of deer coming through. Jim was being patient. Lots of deer. We're looking around waiting for the right one and this this good management buck came through and it's, he said i'm ready i want him so as you can tell he got him so great job Jim. yeah it, it was fun it was fun it's a nice buck it's a, got a beautiful coat perfect rack what more could you ask for well this is a, an event they have once a year and they have representatives of all the branches of the service and EMTs and firefighters and law enforcement. And they invite us down here at their expense to enjoy ourselves and as a reward for our service, such as it was. Me in particular, I'm a Vietnam veteran and we didn't get a lot of recognition or thank yous years ago. So it's special and special for all the guys, especially the uh, vets that have been in Iraq and Afghanistan. So it's a terrific program, especially for the vets. I brought the knives. You want them? Me? I'll do it. <laughs> no. I'll do it. Congratulations. Yeah. No, he's a Beautiful nice buck. Yeah. Good job, my friend. Well, you did well. It was. You did good too. Well, gentlemen, y'all want some breakfast? Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, we're here at the cleaning rack, or more known as the celebration rack. It's where we bring the trophies in uh, from the field. It's a place where the guys can pat each other on the back and show off their trophies and. Just you know, share the excitement with their fellow veterans and heroes. Uh, it's just something we do here at Thumbtack. Uh, we try and treat these guys like royalty and give them an experience of a lifetime. We try and take care of everything for them in the field, here in camp, uh, around the campfire. Um, this is about doing something for them and thanking them for their service. Uh, you know, it's pretty neat because we get as much out of it as they do. It's an experience of a lifetime for us, just like it is for them. We can never do enough for these guys that serve and sacrifice for our freedoms. So this morning is cold, I mean really cold down here in South Texas, like in the mid 40s and typically the deer don't move well. My hunter was actually hunting for a four and a half year old whitetail. We wound up, we did see a few whitetail, saw some exotics, but this morning was generally slow and then all of a sudden when it was time to head in, a coyote shows up. What do you think? I think it was awesome. Gonna eradicate some predators. So now everybody's starting to pile back in here and they're fixing breakfast. My name is Nicholas Moore, a United States Army veteran, 2nd Ranger Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment. And uh, I got picked for Bucks for the Brave for 2022 and uh, we're out here killing whitetail. Uh, I got told about Bucks for the Brave uh, through a friend and uh, who had submitted me for Bucks for the Brave. Uh, I didn't really know anything about it until he said something. And, you know, what it's all about, I, I totally support it. You know, I was expecting a good time with a bunch of fellow veterans, and what I've gotten is, uh, you know, a whole bunch of new friends and, and a, a great experience. Yeah, the volunteer support out here is, uh, there's a lot of people behind all this, and, and everything out here on the ranch is 100% uh, volunteer effort for Bucks for the Brave. Okay, this is our first, maybe annual, ever Watusi cattle drive. Yeah! Let him cat. Wait, 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 cut. We got to get this one out. Let's get this organized. Ryan, wait. Ah, bless. I didn't need that tree anyway. I don't want them to take a right here, and they are. If all else fails, do something different. I've never experienced anything like this. I think this is pretty awesome. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> where the men are men and the Watusi are nervous. That's right. <laughs> we will get them in there though. <laughs> I told them not to get out. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna stay behind them. Come on up next to me. Take it slow, take it slow. Slow, just let them go slow. <laughs> so I think my 15 minute activities turned into a lot longer of an event. Will you have another Watusi Roundup? 
Jeff. <laughs> this is fun as hell. This is chaos. But control chaos. You gotta get it right. Did we have a good time? We had a great time. Great. Yeah. All right. It should be part of the experience. <laughs> Y'all should have been in this vehicle. <laughs> Go wrangle cattle. Where else can you have this much fun for free? Yeah, really the last few days we've all had a blast together. Enjoying this downtime and uh, just putting uh, life on hold and getting to enjoy the outdoors. We've uh, really bonded together out here. Yep. It's uh, been a great experience. It doesn't matter, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, law enforcement, EMS, fire, it, it's all the same family. And uh, we learned that coming together. That we made a, a bunch of friends for life. Well, see how you work by two seasons slow and everybody be on the same page and we didn't have either one of those today <laughs> <laughs> Right now, all the heroes are fixing to head back out to the stand for the evening hunt. It ought to be pretty good because it's warmed up quite a bit. But right behind me, the guys with the chuck wagon are getting ready for a special dinner for tonight. All right, so my name is Lynn Dupree. I'm a Coast Guard veteran. I come here from Northeast North Carolina, a little town called Camden. So what brings me to the Bucks for the Brave? Uh, initially, it was my daughter, Elizabeth, who put me in for this hunt. It's been a whirlwind of surprise after surprise after surprise. Uh, this place is amazing, and just knowing the passion that they have for veterans and the passion that they have for what they do and the family atmosphere that they create are truly what set this place and this whole experience apart. The hunt, is, is just the icing on the cake. And for that, I had no idea, and I am, I am forever grateful for that. So on this hunt, we're gonna be joining up with Greg Taft. He's a retired fire chief from Denver, Colorado, and he's also a big fan of our show. I got a, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. After you and I talked earlier, okay, yeah. would it be okay if I sent my cameraman along with you to film you? You know, I haven't shaved or nothing, so. Well, neither have I. I mean, well, come yeah, on. Well, yeah, but you got a beard. I just got <laughs> stubble. You can use it as, these are the things you do not want to do on a deer hunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go film you this afternoon. How's that sound? It's up to you, sir. Okay. Greg has a love and a passion for the outdoors, and on this hunt, he wanted to go for a trophy white-tailed deer. Greg is actually battling cancer right now, so this hunt is something truly special to him. So what's special about this hunt is that Greg has never taken a white-tailed deer, but what's really special about it, his dad, Greg's father, gave him a mule deer buck that he shot years and years and years ago, and Greg's dad's been gone for a long time. And so every time Greg takes a look at that mount that he got from his father, he remembers it down deep inside. So what he wants to do is take a trophy white-tailed buck, and that way, if he can do this, he's gonna take that deer mount and he's gonna leave it to his son so he has the same feeling years and years down the road. So this hunt couldn't have been made possible without sponsors, and the sponsors are an integral part of the Bucks for the Brave program, and specifically Record Rack. My relationship with them is very important to me. All right, so I've been guiding Greg since Thursday morning. We've had a tough time getting something good in front of us, so we're hoping that the the old golden nuggets do the trick. We'll see. Nothing like some golden nuggets. I got one more spot I want to put some of this stuff at. And then we'll climb in the box and get her done, right, Greg? Yes, sir. All right, that's what I want to hear. We're here in the blind, and uh, tonight's our last night. We're looking for a nice white tail or an axis buck, and uh, I've been honored and humbled to be a part of this great organization. We'll get it done tonight. And it's been an honor hunting with you this week. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Ryan. Years of dedication, hard work, sacrifice. It's my pleasure to be here with you. So Greg's seeing so many different animals and so many white-tailed deer that literally, I think he was kind of baffled. It's like, I didn't know deer hunting could be this good. I know we got about eight does 
over that side and got a couple does over here and one small buck behind us. Nothing we can shoot at right now, but still early. Uh, we're looking at, a, looks like about a 10 point right now. Five and a half, got a belly on him. Little sway, whoop, got a little jumpy. Oh, he's a 10 pointer. I think it's early enough we wait a little bit. Yeah, we still got an hour or two. So he just didn't pull the trigger and I like that because the longer you sit in the deer stand, and the longer you prolong that kill shot, to me, the more enjoyment you get out of the hunt. One of the beautiful parts about uh, coming to the Thumbtack Ranch is the fact that, uh, especially for somebody from Denver, Colorado, there is no telling what's going to walk out of the woods. No, Gotti. I got. I got. The nil guy. Yeah. So it's getting close to the last shooting light. And Greg's seen a lot of deer. And all of a sudden, this deer steps out. And I mean, we're losing camera light quick. And Greg decides this is the one he wants to take. Oh, yeah. The one you want to shoot is the one with his tail up in the air. He's yeah. Got, he's got to point it straight out. Because he don't want to scratch in his leg. He's behind the other buck that's looking straight at us. Yeah. So Greg got his buck and there was no ground shrinkage. He couldn't have been happier. My first whitetail. Heck of a whitetail. What does this mean to you? It means a lot of joy and a humbling experience. I've had a great time this, this last few days. Thank you Bucks for the Brave for bringing me down here. We've seen a lot of animals today. A lot, a lot of stuff today. A lot of stuff today. Very productive day. I wanted to have something to pass down to my child, my, my oldest boy, to remember me by. This is for you, Chad Taft. It's an honor to be involved or be chosen to be a part of this great organization. Thank you, Trinity Oaks, and all the sponsors. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Record Rack, thank you, Record Rack. And hey, thank you for all your years of service and hard work. This is the least we could do, bring you out here and show you a minute of joy. Like I said, it's humbling and an honor to be out here with you gentlemen and all the volunteers. It's been so great to me, this whole experience. What I like about the outdoors is it uh, touches you down deep inside if you let it. And I think the older that you get, the more it touches you, the more you realize that time is short. Your time on earth is short. And so every single little thing is a joy to you. And so the outdoors is, is very special. And to somebody like Greg, you can tell it touches him a lot. It couldn't have been made possible without a lot of volunteers that wound up showing up and helping make dreams come true for people. So I want to thank everybody that was involved, but specifically, I want to call out Greg Taft. I want to thank him for his contribution to the fire department. And I want to thank him for the opportunity to be able to tag along with him while he takes a buck of a lifetime. <laughs>